good day everyone welcome to my channel welcome to med school drill on today's tutorial video we'll be taking multiple choice question under the biochemistry of carbohydrates we're taking 50 mcq question if i will begin kindly subscribe to my channel and i thank you for 100 subscribers i'm very glad please kindly support so i can always post new videos frequently thank you we are what we repeatedly do excellence then is not an act but a habit so said by Aristotle. number one the number of asymmetric carbon atoms in glucose is one option b two option three c option d four So what is the answer? So the, no, the right answer here is D. We have four asymmetric carbon atoms in a glucose molecule. Number four. So number two, beta one four glycosidic bond is present in A maltose, B lactose, C sucrose, D none of the above. So what is the right answer? So the right answer here has to be lactose it's in lactose will find a beta 1 for glycosidic bond number three number of stereoisomers of glucose is a 2 b 4 c 8 d 16 So what is the answer? What do you think is the right answer on this question? The number of stereoisomers of glucose. Yeah, the right answer here is D. We have 16 stereoisomers in a in a glucose molecule. Sorry. Number four, a homopolysaccharide made up of fructose is a glycogen, B dextrin, C cellulose, D inulin. So what the answer? You should you should know what a homo polysaccharide is before you can answer this question. The right answer here is inulin. Now a homo polysaccharide, like I just said, is uh is a a massive carbohydrate uh, mo molecule that is made up of the same monomeric unit. For instance, now you know that polysaccharides are made up of large change large um chains of monosaccharides or you can say mono, monomeric units so in this case inulin is made up of fructose multiple billions numbers of fructose molecule but it's only fructose because of the word homo homo means the same number five a glycon molecule sorry a glycon portion in cardiac glycosides is made up of a glucose b steroids c manose d galactose lactose a glucose b steroids c manose d galactose so the right answer here answer here is b steroids you have steroids in the a glycon portion in cardiac glycosides number six identical ulcer zones are formed by a glucose and fructose b glucose and manose c manose and fructose d all of the above so by now you should have gotten your answer so the right answer here is all of the above so they are all correct number seven maltose can be formed by hydrolysis of a stash b dextrin c glycogen d all of this So what do you believe is the right answer? 
you know when when, when they say hydrolysis like a breaking down of a larger molecule to give you a smaller molecule through the action of water so the right answer here is stash stash is the right answer here number eight alpha one four glycosidic bond is not present in a glycogen b dextrin c amylose d amylopectin so what are you think of the answer you know when i wrote here alpha one six glycosidic bond this is why i meant by the alpha this is what the alpha is so it's a symbol like this so what do you think is the answer here so the right answer here is b dextrin is the right answer here number nine sulfated hyaluronic acid is present in a higher uronic acid b chondroic sulfate c hyperin d all of this so in which of the following will you find sulfated hyaluronic acid so you'll find this uh, in all of them in all of them number 10 monosaccharides can be separated by a electrophoresis b chromatography c salting out d none of this so in what sorry in which of these following methods can monosaccharides be separated from each other so the right answer here is uh, chromatography so what they mean here like this for instance now uh, monosaccharides are being bonded into either a short chain or a long chain so they want to separate them into individual monomeric units so you do that by using a chromatographic method of separation number 11 fructose is present in hydrolysate of a sucrose b inulin c none of this d neither of this so it's c both of this d neither of this sorry so my level what's the right answer be careful of those options they are quite tricky remember the two main things we have here is the term fructose and the term hydrolysate so the right answer here is c both of them so both sucrose and inulin are the right answer to this question okay next question number 12 n acetyl galactosamine sulfate is present in higher uronic acid b hyperin d chondrotite sulfate d none of this so we are following will you find this particular substance chemical we have here so the right answer here is a uh, chondrotritic sulfate the word gives me issue to pronounce sometimes but 13 invertase catalyzes the hydrolysis of a maltose b lactose c sucrose d none of this Invertase catalyzes the hydrolysis of A, maltose, B, lactose, C, sucrose, D, none of this. The right answer here is sucrose. Number 14. In fructoferanose, a numeric carbon atom is A, carbon 1, B, carbon 2, C, carbon 3 d carbon 4 
Okay, so what is the right answer here? What is the right answer here? So the right answer in this question would be carbon 2. Carbon 2 is the right answer here. Remember, uh, this, this this term here, fructo, they're referring to uh, fructose, while fernose, they're referring to a, um, a sugar cyclic chain of just five carbons so it's like a pentagon the the ring is like a pentagon why if you see pyranos pyranos has six carbons so it'd be like a number 15 a carbohydrate found in dna is a ribose b dioxyribose c ribolus d all of this so which are the following carbohydrates you find in a DNA molecule? So the right answer here is dioxyribose. The the D in this DNA stands for dioxyribose. But sixteen, a monosaccharides having D and L isomer is sorry. Not having D and L isomer is A ribose, B dioxyribose, C erythrose, D dihydroxyacetone. A monosaccharide not having D and L isomers is ribose, B dioxyribose, C erythrose, D dihydroxyacetone. So the right answer to this question, which you should have gotten by now, is D. So you're correct. Answer is D. Right answer is D. Number 17. Ribolus is A or an A. Keto tetros B. Aldo tetros C. Keto pentos D. Aldo pentos What do you think is the right answer to this question? So the right answer is, uh, is C. Pentose meaning, meaning it has uh, five carbons. Tetros means it has uh, five carbon. While keto means it has the keto uh, functional group. By 10. In D glyceraldehyde. OH group is present on the right hand side of carbon atom number dash A 1 B 2 C 3 D 1 or 2 and 3 So what do you think is the right answer? In D glyceraldehyde, the hydroxy or the OH group is present on the right hand side of carbon atom number what come up number what come out of number what dash be a dash here so the right answer to this question is come out of number two number two number 19 a disaccharide made up of two glucose units is a sucrose B. Maltose C. Lactose D. Dextrin A disaccharide made up of two glucose units is dash. Is dash, 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 dash. So the right answer here is uh, maltose is the right answer. If you break down maltose by hydrolysis, you will definitely have two glucose units. Number 20, a carbohydrate commonly known as dextrose is A. Dextrin, B. Fructose, C. D. Glucose, D. Glycogen. So what is the answer? A carbohydrate commonly known as dextrose is dash. A. Dextrin, B. D. Fructose C, D, glucose, D, 
glycogen. So the right answer to number 20 is D glucose. You know, we have D glucose, we have L glucose. So the among the D glucose and the L glucose, the D glucose is more important to the body and it's more it's more um, it's more commonly found in the body. Let me just put it like that. Number 21. Amino sugars are present in A. High, higher uronic acid. B. Chondrotic sulfate. C. Erythromycin. D. All of the, this. Amino sugars are present in A. Higher uronic acid. B. Chondrotin sulfate. D. Erythromycin, the all of this. So, right answer is all of this. You can find amino sugars in all of them from A to C. Number 22. A carbohydrate found only in milk is A. Glucose, B. Galactose, C. Lactose, D. Maltose. This is a very, very popular question. Sometimes they ask you what is the milk sugar in that way, but the right answer here is lactose. So start us the milk sugar. Number 23. A carbohydrate known commonly as invert sugar is A fructose, B sucrose, C glucose, D lactose. So the right answer here is sucrose. Only to waste time on such easy equations. Number 24. A homopolysaccharide among the following is A Hyperin, B. Hyaluronic acid, C. Dematan sulfate, C. Cellulose. Let me take it again. A. Homo polysaccharides among the following is A. Hyperin, B. Hyaluronic acid, D. Dematan sulfate, D. Cellulose. The right answer here is D cellulose. 25. A heteropolysaccharides among the following is A inulin, B cellulose, C hyperin, D dextrin. Let me take the equation again. A a heteropolysaccharide among the following is A. Inulin B. Cellulose C. Hyperin D. Dextrin 2. The right answer here is C. Hyperin 26. The predominant form of glucose in solution is A. A cyclic form B hydrated a cyclic form C glucophanose D glucopyranose. The predominant form of glucose in solution is which of the following? So the right answer in this question would be D glucopyranose. Number twenty seven. Optical isomerism, isomerism is denoted by A, D, and L, B, D, and 1 method, C, plus and negative sign method, D, any of these. So, which of the following we, we identify or we denote an optical isomerism situation? The right answer here is C plus or minus 28 an L isomer of monosaccharide formed in human body A L fructose B L erythrose C L xylose D X sorry D L xylulose an L isomer 
of monosaccharides formed in human body is a l fructose l erythrose l xylose and l xylose so which of the following of one the option it will give the right answer so the right answer here number 28 is d l xylose number 29 a pentose found in nucleotides is a d ribose b l ribose c d ribolus d l ribolus a pentose as a five carbon sugar found in nucleotides is which of the following the right answer is a a sorry d ribolus sorry d ribose i mean d ribose not d ribose d ribose but 30 the following causes level rotation a d fructose b l glucose c l ribose d all of this so which are among these options will cause uh, level rotation and the right answer just know that whatever molecule has the l the l notation or uh, it obviously causes level rotation so and this d fructose also causes some degree of the rotation so the right answer is d number 31 in straight chain structure of d glucose oh group is present on left hand side of carbon atom number what so if you have to draw the structure of uh, of glucose from one to six having a six carbon chain uh, if you look at it you find that the if you draw a diagram you can easily get the answer to this question very simple question so the right answer to this question is three so on carbon three you will see you will see uh, where the OH is on the other side, like it will be something like this. What about on this right hand side? You will see hydrogen, while on the other side, you will see an OH group, something like this. Then the other C's will be going up and going down. Number 32 In straight chain structure of D ribose, hydroxy or OH group is present. On the right hand side of carbon atom number let me take it again in straight chain structure of d ribose so this is a d ribose structure oh group is present on the right hand side of carbon atom number a 2 b 3 c 4 d all of this so all you have to do take a pen and draw out a D ribose structure, and you easily get your answer. So the right answer to this question, the two is D all of the above. You find an OH at the right hand side at these various positions. Number thirty-three. The carbon atom, which becomes asymmetrical when the straight chain form of monosaccharides changes into ring form is known as a monomeric carbon atom b epimeric carbon atom c isomeric carbon atom d none of this the carbon atom which becomes asymmetrical when the straight chain form of a monosaccharide changes into a ring form into known as so the right answer here is the anomeric carbon atom you got it correctly number 34 in a d glucopyranose 
OH groups projecting below the plane of the ring are attached to carbon atoms. A, 1, 2, and 3, B, 1, 2, and 4, C, 2, 3, and 4, D, 1, 2, and 5. So what they're asking me here then, that if you should draw a D pyranose, which is something, do something like this. Sorry, it's not a very clear diagram. This looks uh, something like this. Yeah. So, you know, you have some uh, projections downwards, downwards, downwards. Here, here you have your, your, oh, your carbon, so your oxygen, sorry. So, what they're asking me is that on which of these various positions, which are down here, will you find OH below? So, what they're asking you. So, the right answer to this question is B. One, one, that is a one two and four positions number 35 in glucopyranose the anomeric carbon is a carbon one b carbon two c carbon five d carbon six in glucopyranose as the glucose with the six carbon chain So, so what do you think is the answer? The answer here is A. So I was saying uh panel is a six carbon chain. It is not necessarily a six carbon chain because it doesn't have six carbon in the chain, but it's actually uh it a, a shape with six sides. So we have a carbon here, you have an oxygen here, you have a carbon here. You have another carbon here, you have another carbon here, you have another carbon here. So it's like this. But this is an oxygen, so it's not really a cis carbon chain. Because the other carbon will be found somewhere here, which will be showing CH, CH2, OH, something like that. Number 36. The smallest monosaccharides <coughs> having Pyranose ring structure is the smallest monosaccharides having pyranose ring structure is A. Erythrose, B. Ribose, C. Glucose, D. Fructose. Which are the following? I think it's the right answer to this question. If you want to answer something like this, you should always think of which of the following has the smallest possible uh, ring structure. So the right answer to this question would be B, ribose. Method 7. The specific rotation of alpha D glucopyranose is A plus 19 degrees B plus 55.2 degrees C plus 92 degrees D 112 plus 112 degrees so what do you think is the answer so what they're literally asking you like yeah uh, take for instance you, you have a, a mixture of uh, both alpha D glycoparanose and uh, and beta D like coparinous. So they're both in the same solution or in the same mixture. So if you have to find the uh the the angle or that specific rotation, so that's what they are asking you in this particular question. And the right answer to this question is D 112 degrees for the alpha D like coparinous. The specific rotation of beta D glycopyranose is A plus 19 degrees, B 52.5 degrees, C 92 degrees, D 112 degrees. So the right answer to this question is 19 degrees. In some texts, you may see uh, maybe some texts 18, 18, uh, 18.5. So you might see 18 uh, is 
you might see 18 point uh point nine i've seen some different checks because they are all approximately to 19 so take note of the differences number 39 the ratio of alpha d pyranose to beta d glycopyranose at equilibrium is nearly a 2 ratio 1 b 1 ratio 1 d 1 ratio 2 d one we should three like i said earlier to answer this question you have to assume you have a mixture of both of them of both uh, the alpha d and the beta d under the same solution so when i find that at equilibrium what would their various ratio to each other be and the right answer here will be one ratio two so you're going to have more 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 beta d like a number 40 the following is an epimeric pair a glucose and fructose b glucose and galactose c galactose and manose d lactose and maltose so what is the answer remember that uh, I believe uh, glu glu glucose has two two uh, epimers. Thing that the epimers are galactose and I think galactose are manose or so. Galactose and manose. I'm not pretty sure, but I, I think it's galactose and manose. But I know that uh, the two epimers of glucose are not epimers of themselves. So the right answer to this question is glucose and galactose. Before the one. <coughs> Similar osazones are formed by A. Glucose, Manos, B. Manos and Galactose, C. Glucose and Galactose, D. None of this. Similar osazones are formed by which of the following in the option? The right answer here is A, glucose and manose. Number 42. Alpha glycosylic bond is present in A, lactose, B, maltose, C, sucrose, D, all of the above. Alpha glycosylic bond is present in which of the following? Please, as you're taking your time to go through this question, please kindly hit that subscribe button down there. See down there, kindly hit that subscribe button so I can be encouraged to post more videos every time. Thank you. So back to the question. So the right answer to this question will be motors. Motors have an al has the alpha alpha glycosidic bond. The glycosidic bond is a bond which which literally holds all carbohydrate molecules or atoms together number four three branching occurs in glycogen approximately after every a cis glucose unit b 10 glucose units c 18 glucose units d D twenty five glucose units branching occurs in glycogen approximately after every A six glucose units B ten glucose units C eighteen glucose units D twenty five glucose units. The right answer here is ten glucose units. In some texts, you might see eleven glucose units. So. So that that is not too far from the right answer. So you can pick eleven in some cases. In some in some examples, they might give you range. Might give you range. I've seen a particular book that wrote a range of uh, twelve to fifteen. That one too can be acceptable in some conditions. In, in case ten is not given. So number forty four. Mucopolysaccharides are also known as a mucoproteins b glycoproteins 
see glycosaminoglucans D homo polysaccharides. Let me take it again. Mucopolysaccharides are also known as A mucoproteins, B glycoproteins, C glycosamic no glucans, D homo polysaccharides. So the right answer to this question is C. Number 45. N acetyl glucosamine is present in A. Hyaluronic acid B chondric sorry chondritin C hyperin D all of the above. So where will you find this substance called N acetyl glucosamine? So you find them in all the above here. Yeah. So taking on this question, I think I've said it before. It's a very important question. You'll see it would like to see it in your MCQ exams. Number 46, Zudoheptalus is a A, ketose, B, pentose, D, disaccharide, D, constituent of hyperin. Constituent of hyperin. So the right answer here is ketose. Now, you need to know the difference between these two things. Now, there are different ways whereby they classify carbohydrates. I will definitely make a video on that now if you are classifying carbohydrate based on the number of carbons that you have twin things like trios uh pentos uh, uh this kind of things but when you are trying to classify them according to the number of uh, molecules of sugar that you have things like monosaccharide disaccharides polysaccharides and the rest so I'll make a video on that so hit the subscribe button so when I post video you will see it. Number 47. A lubricant present in joints is A hyperin B hyperin sulfate D chondroitin sulfate D hyaluronic acid. A lubricant present in joints is A hyperin, B hyperin sulfate, D chondroitin sulfate, D hyaluronic acid. So, what do you think is the answer? The right answer to this question that's the, the lubricant which you can find in the joint, which is also a, uh, a carbohydrate uh, substance, is the hyaluronic acid. That's D. So if they ask you, so if they ask you what is the lubricant in the joints, and you have such kind of options, be careful to choose the answer. Forty-eight. The following is not present in plants. The following is not, not present in plants. A. Cellulose. B. Fructose. C. Lactose. D. Sucrose. So the following is not present in plants, like you know. Uh, for cell for cell cellulose, uh, you can find cellulose in uh, in literally all plants. So this is not the answer. In fructose, you can find fructose in uh, in many uh, fruits. I heard the name. I heard got the name from fructose. So not the answer. It's the plant. Why sucrose? You get it from from cane, from sugar cane. So not the answer. So the right answer to this question is no other but lactose that is the milk sugar you can get it from milk and or milk are only causing from animals now when i say milk i'm not referring to those milk that you get from your coconuts it's, it's, it's not really milk now the milk i'm referring to here is the milk you get from mammals animals in general 49 glycogen a is made up of glucose b is unbranched c has beta 1 4 glycosidic bond d all of this so the asking you to the following uh is the characteristic or are not characteristics of glycogen so let us break it down one by one uh we know we know glycogen is made up of uh 
of glucose, so it's definitely correct. Glycogen is unbranched. No, glycogen is multi branched, it has lots of branches, multi branched. So, this is wrong. It has beta 1, 4, glycosidic bond. No, it does not have this. So, the right answer is A, so it's made up of glycogen monomeric unit. Number 50. A is present in muscles. Sorry, A in Nulin. A present in muscles. B uh, is uh, a homopolysaccharide. D decreases blood glucose. D is metabolized in the liver. Metabolized in the liver. So we have the following. Do you think is the answer? Should be the right answer. So uh, this is a very tricky question when I first uh, saw it. A very tricky question. So I started to ask the question. So the right answer here is uh, actually should it be? Should it be? Yes, it's, it's most like a But there are some arguments about this question. For instance, now some texts that I have seen, but they are they are seen as research research text says that you can find. Uh, Inulin in the muscles, in the muscles. So, so I'm not really sure about that. And also they say in inulin can also be used to decrease blood blood uh, glucose. That I'm not too sure about. D D is completely wrong, but as for B B is completely uh, correct. So so go with B for this. Uh, so please kindly subscribe to my channel. So we are coming to the end of this video. I will post in a, a part two part two very soon so don't forget to subscribe to my channel so when i post it you'll be informed so thank you watch my other videos and stay blessed and good luck in your exams